The most common problem what we encounter during this procedure are for those women who come with cervical stenosis. When the cervix is stenosed, it becomes very difficult for us to carry out any procedure, say IUI or even the embryo transfer for them. So we subject these girls for cervical dilatation. So when the cervical dilatation procedure fails and they continue to have stenosis, then we counsel them to undergo cervical shaving. Cervical shaving is nothing but hysteroscopic excision of the cervical ridge followed by dilatation of the internal os. So most of them respond to this treatment and then have an dilated open internal cervical os. But there are a set of women who have resistance to this and again continue to have cervical stenosis. So for these women what we do is we counsel them thoroughly and then carry out the embryo transfer procedure under sedation we do an in transmyometrial embryo transfer.